Welcome to What's the Word. Yay! So excited to finally be able to get to spend some time with you. Um, like I said, life is hard. I have a lot of issues and I'm just trying to pray and pray and pray. Humaning is hard. Being a human is hard. <laughs> Being a girl is hard. Being alive is hard. Um, so we can't do it without God, and uh, I'm just here to spend some time with you and Jesus today. Um, we do only have one verse. makes me a little sad, but at least I know that it's an accomplishment, and I can get through it today. So yay! Today we are in day 24, and the verse would be John 1. 38 through 39, it says 38B, so it would be the second part, but we're going to obviously read the whole thing because that's what I do. Um, and we have come and see. And as always, I have it up on our screen for our YouTube people uh, who wants to follow along. So we have come and see. They said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? Come and you will see, he replied. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. So that's the verse that's already up there. And then we have the King James Version, NIV, and they have the ICB up. So the King James Version. And it's the whole thing, like I said. <laughs> then Jesus turned and saw them following, and saith unto them, What seek ye? They said unto him, Rabbi, which is to say, being interrupted, Master, I mean, being interpreted, sorry, master, where dwellest? Where dwellest thou? He saith unto them, come and see. They came and saw where he dwelleth and abode with him that day, for it was about the 10th hour. And I actually looked that up. I didn't even know that there was this. I know the Bible, but I didn't know about the 10th hour, the 9th hour, and it's not 10 o'clock it's not, I think it was like four o'clock. I have it written down. I don't have my notes on me, but I believe it was like four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so the NIV version, turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, what do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and they spent the day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. See, I was right. <laughs> it was about four in the afternoon. The 10th hour is four in the afternoon. Did you know that the Bible has a different clock than the world? I didn't know that until I read this verse. And that's pretty cool. All right. Now we have the ICB, which is up on our screen. Jesus turned and saw them following him. He asked, what do you want? They said, Rabbi, where are you staying? Rabbi means teacher. Jesus answered, come with me and you will see. So the two men went with Jesus. They saw the place where Jesus was staying and stayed there with him that day. It was then about four o'clock. All right, so let's read our today. Come and see. There comes a time for each of us when merely talking about Christian pilgrimage is not sufficient. We must actually set out on the journey. We can spend many hours debating and discussing issues related to the Christian life, but this means little if we never actually step out and follow Christ. So I did actually add a, um, a video. Oh my God, I forget his name, but he's a really awesome, energetic pastor. I added his video because like I said, it's just been really hard for me for a lot of things. Um, the passing of my mom, even though it's been years, it's still... It hits when I need her and uh, she's not there. I can't just pick up a phone and, hey, mom, I'm having an issue. Um, and I can't pick up a phone, you know, for anybody. <laughs> Living a Christian life does not mean that you're not going to be alone. Living the life God gave you. Hmm. It's hard. It's very, very hard, especially for me anyways, because I don't know, maybe it's just me. I push people away or I just feel like I've been hurt so much that I just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. So, you know, I sit at home and 
it kind of takes a toll on me. Um, I appreciate the life that Jesus and God, you know, have, we have came to where I'm at and I love, love my life. I own a house. I have my beautiful boys. I'm doing what I love to do. Um, and it's just great, but being human, like I said, um, anxiety, depression, the devil just gnaws at you, at least for me, he gnaws at me so bad, and I don't have, like, an inner circle, I don't have anybody that I can really confide in, um, so this is why I do this. Like I said, I've said it since I started it. I spend time with God because it makes me happy. And even though I'm sad, <laughs> God makes me happy. Doing this makes me happy. And it hurts to think of the pain that I went through. But at the same time, it prides me to think that God pulled me through. Like without that, oh my God, you have... You have no idea. You have no idea without Jesus. And I didn't even know it until maybe like 10 years ago. I didn't know that God was guiding me this whole time that life sucks and sadness happens. Bad things happen. People are cruel and say mean things. And you just got to let go and let God. The present is the present for a reason. So. Just wanted to give you my little tidbit. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it is not. Discussing issues related to the Christian life means little if we never actually step out and follow Christ. So we do. We need to follow faith. Faith can't stop. I didn't even know about David and Goliath. Did you know about David and Goliath? I'm, I'm learning a lot um, the more I read the Bible. I like to read uh, verses that I know, but then there's also verses that I don't know. Um, after David fought Goliath, he went and did a census of everybody, um, which apparently was illegal. So just so you do, <laughs> census, illegal, census, Um but he wanted to see how many warriors in case he had to go to war or something. And God's like, no, no, I got you here. You need to keep the faith in me. And David didn't want to do that. So now that's what I'm learning. He got me here through my faith. So I need to stay here and have my faith with God. So living a Christian life doesn't mean all the pain and sorrow and it just stops. No, it means that it's actually going to come for me. It comes tenfold, tenfold and head on train collision. But faith for generations, the coming of the Messiah has been pondered and predicted by the nation of Israel. Perhaps no top, perhaps no topic garnered more discussion among Jews than the nature and work of the Messiah. Andrew had listened to John the Baptist and had heard of the coming Messiah. Now suddenly he was face to face with the one he had yearned to see. Andrew's mind was filled with questions he longed to ask. Instead of entering into the theological dialogue with Andrew, however, Jesus turned and began to walk. Andrew's questions would not be answered by discussion alone, but by walking with him. Andrew's questions, your questions, will not be answered by discussion alone, but by walking with Jesus. <laughs> Christianity is not a set of teachings to understand. It is a person to follow. Christianity is not a set of teachings to understand. It is a person to follow. If you've been following me since the beginning, you know what Christianity means to me. Christ and I and Christ, Christ and I and I in Christ. Christianity is not a set of teachings. It is a person to follow. As he walked with Jesus, Andrew watched 
Jesus heal the sick, teach God's wisdom, and demonstrate God's power. Andrew not only learned about God, he actually experienced him. If you walk with God, you will experience him. And I have experienced him. This is my bittersweet or sorrow, however. I have experienced it. And yet I still question it. Why? Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. But it's human. That's what it is. You walk with him. You follow him. You experience him. Moments will come when you stand at a crossroad with your Lord. Moments will come when you stand at a crossroads with your Lord. You will have a hundred questions for him. Rather than answering the questions one by one, Jesus may say, put on your shoes, step out onto the road and follow me. As you walk daily with him, Jesus will answer your questions and you will discover far more than you ever knew to ask. Isn't that awesome? So awesome! Come and see. Oh, that's awesome. Our next one is day 25, the Father draws you. John 6, 65. Looks like we got a few on our next next day so I'm so excited about that yay so I have stuff to do today meh <laughs> but I'm so excited I get to spend time with you and I love you God loves you in Jesus name come and see and Christianity is not a set of teachings to understand it is a person to follow your answers your questions will not be answered by discussion alone, but by walking with him. Did not only learn about God, but actually experience him. Moments will come when you stand at the crossroads with your Lord and you have a bunch of questions. Don't ask the questions. Just understand. God will show it to you in your due time. I love you so much. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoy the music as always. That's my favorite part is being able to preach the word to you and jam out because that's what it is to me. It's to worship, praise, and love, love, love. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Sincerely. All right. And I will see you back here soon. Ah! Have a great day. Love you. Mwah.